Hello, an opinion on a Newsweek article. The article titled Prince Harry and Meghan Fans Are a Danger, PR Expert, published by Newsweek, employs charged language and presents a biased perspective that aims to portray the Sussex Squad in a negative light. By examining the usage of war terminology and highlighting the article's one-sided nature, this response will critically dissect the narrative to unmask its intent to create a damaging image of the Sussex Squad. The article utilizes war-related terms such as army, battle, deploying their troops, and foot soldiers to describe the Sussex Squad and their activities on social media. This choice of language is significant as it evokes a sense of conflict, aggression, and hostility. By framing the Sussex Squad in militaristic terms, the article suggests that supporters of Prince Harry and Meghan are engaged in a coordinated and aggressive campaign against other members of the royal family, particularly Princess Catherine. Army of people on social media. This phrase implies a large, organized, and potentially dangerous group akin to a military force. Battle that still goes on. The word battle suggests an ongoing conflict with no resolution, painting the sausage squad as per perpetually combative, deploying their troops. This implies strategic planning and execution, which exaggerates, which exaggerates the informal and decentralized nature of the Sussex Squad. Foot soldiers. This term diminishes individual agency, suggesting that members of the Sussex Squad are merely followers acting on orders rather than independent actors. By employing such terminology, the article aims to create a perception of the Sussex Squad as a hostile and organized group, overshadowing the char charitable and philanthropic efforts they have undertaken, such as raising over a million dollars for various charities around the world. The article presents a one-sided view by focusing exclusively on negative actions attributed to the Sussex Squad, while ignoring the existence of numerous online groups that propagate hate and conspiracy theories about Meghan and Harry. It fails to mention the widespread and often vicious campaigns against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex which includes altering pictures to make Megan look a certain way, questioning the legitimacy of their children, and spreading false claims about Megan's pregnancies. The article does not address the hate and vitriol directed at Megan and Harry from other social media groups, thereby presenting a skewed perspective that unfairly targets the Sussex squad. There is no acknowledgement of the broader social media landscape where hate groups with significantly larger followings regularly attack Meghan and Harry. This omission creates an imbalanced view that misrepresents the dynamics at play. The article overlooks the positive contributions of the Sussex Squad, such as their fundraising efforts for local and global charities. This omission perpetuates a narrative that ignores the altruistic and supportive actions of the group. The article scrutinizes the actions of the Sussex Squad regarding Kate's health but does not apply the same level of scrutiny to the palace's inconsistent statements and actions. For instance, the palace's conflicting information about Kate's health and the Photoshop images or image 
attributed first to Prince William taking the photo, but Princess Kate altering the photo. This raised valid questions about credibility and transparency. The article mentions the conspiracy theories, but does not delve into the inconsistencies from the palace that fueled these theories. The palace's conflicting statements and Kate's health and the dubious photo undermine their credibility and contribute to public speculation. The article criticizes the Sussex Squad for spreading rumors while ignoring similar or worse behavior from anti-Sussex groups, reflecting a double standard in how actions are evaluated. The article heavily relies on the opinion of Mark Burkowski, a PR consultant, to support its narrative. Burkowski's statements reinforce the idea that the Sussex Squad is a dangerous, or a danger rather, to truth and stability. However, the article does not provide a balanced view by including perspectives from experts who might offer a different take on the actions and impact of the Sussex Squad. By presenting Burkowski's views without counterpoints, the article lacks a balanced analysis and gives undue weight to a single perspective. The absence of diverse voices or other experts on social media dynamics limits the depth and breadth of the discussion. The Newsweek article employs war terminology and presents a biased, one-sided narrative that unfairly targets the Sussex Squad while ignoring the broader context of social media hostility directed at Meghan and Harry. By dissecting the article with a critical eye, it becomes evident that the intent is to create a damaging narrative about the Sussex Squad, to foster a more balanced and accurate understanding it is crucial to consider the positive contributions of the Sussex Squad, the inconsistencies from the palace, and the pervasive hate campaigns against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Greater awareness and inclusion should be promoted by acknowledging the complexity of social media dynamics and the diverse motivations of individuals involved.